When you've finished viewing, organising and enhancing your photos, it's time to share them. In Photostack, there are a number of ways to distribute your photos to family and friends, directly from the programme. To begin, select the photos you want to share. Click and drag to create a selection, or control click on individual photos if you prefer. Once you've chosen your photos, you'll need to access the Share dialog. To do this, click Share on the toolbar above your workspace. OK, first we'll explore the sharing options available. Use these buttons at the top of the dialog to select the type of sharing you want to use. First, you can export your photos and save them to one of the standard graphic formats that everyone can access. Exporting leaves your original files intact, so you can come back and edit at any time. Whichever share option you decide on, you'll have to choose the items you want to distribute. As we have already selected some photos, selection is chosen by default. Alternatively, you can choose to export photos in a quick album or album of your choice. In Export Images, you'll need to specify a save location for your exported files. Photostat offers a range of preset options to make sharing your photos even easier. These presets group typical settings together under one option. Simply select the preset you want to use, and all of these settings are applied in one action. The presets available may differ depending on the share options you've chosen. The next sharing option is the more traditional method of printing your photos. To begin, select your printer from the drop-down printer list. On the right of the dialog, you can preview the settings that you've chosen. By default, the full-page landscape preset was chosen for this photo, but it doesn't look quite right, so I'll choose a different preset. That's better. At the bottom of the preview pane, the number next to the photo thumbnail indicates how many times it's included in the layout so far. If your layout has multiple pages, you can easily navigate between them. On the Presets tab, there are a number of print layouts available for specific sizes, for example 4x6 or 5x7 prints to fit in photo frames. You can also print out multiple photos on the same page to save space. If you can't find a preset that meets your requirements, you can create custom share options in the Custom tab. For more information, see Photostack Help. If you prefer to share your photos electronically, you can email them instead. Choose whether to attach your photos to a new email, or save in a folder and send them later. If you're exporting, emailing or uploading your photos, you can compare formats against each other using two or four screen preview. This is useful for comparing file sizes and also seeing if there are any visual differences between various formats. You might also find it helpful to zoom into your photos using the zoom tools at the bottom of the dialog. It's a good idea to keep the size of the pictures fairly small when sending them by email. In the second pane, I'll choose a medium size, medium quality JPEG to contrast with the large, high quality JPEG in the first. You can see there's a significant difference in file size. If you've been comparing settings, take a moment to check the correct pane is selected when you share your photos. The final share option is to upload your photos. This allows you to upload your photos straight to social media sites, including Facebook, Flickr and Dropbox. You can also upload video clips to YouTube. Uploading your photos means you can get your photos online quickly and easily, straight from Photostack. You can also make your photos accessible to people across the world. First, select the account you want to use. If you want to share your photos via a particular site, for example Facebook, but don't yet have an account, don't worry, you can quickly create one during this process. Choose a preset for your photos, then click Upload. Depending on the account you've chosen, step-by-step -step instructions will appear to guide you through the process of uploading your photos. Before we finish, I'll quickly demonstrate how to watermark your photos using one-click presets. Watermarks are great for indicating ownership of photos and also adding that professional touch. 
The watermarking presets available will vary depending on the share options you've chosen. When exporting images, you'll see a preset section dedicated to watermarks. Click on these to see what they look like when applied to your photo. When you've decided which share option you want to use, click the green button at the bottom right of the dialog. And that's it! I hope you've enjoyed exploring the share dialog and the traditional and more modern sharing possibilities available. To find out more about Photostack, see the Learning Assistant. Thanks for watching.